Do you know who I'm doing an impression of right now? If not, you will by the end of this video. Stay tuned. Hey Stitches, it's me, Fairy Godfather, aka Matthew, and this is my YouTube channel, Fairy Godfather Knits, where I talk about creativity, my knitting journey, fiber arts, and so on. Today is not a regular KnitCast episode where I talk about my works in progress and how things are going. Today is just a day that I am going to tell you a story in this video, the story of this sweater, which is a little more in-depth than you might think. It involves Tom Daly, it involves We Are Knitters, it involves Anthony Porosky. It's a little bit crazy <laughs> and uh, I've been sort of scared to tell this story. I'm gonna get into all of that in a second, but I just want you to know in advance what you're in for today. It's just gonna be me talking about this sweater. So grab some knitting, grab a cup of tea, and sit back <laughs> and listen to the epic tale of this sweater. Oh. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you've heard a bit about how I started knitting, which was um, for a little precious baby in my life. But after I made the baby stuff, I wanted to knit something for myself. And that just felt like an impossible dream. Um, I couldn't imagine doing that, but I decided that that was gonna be my goal. I, was, I just wanted to knit a sweater for myself. Um, and at that time, I was watching a lot of Queer Eye on Netflix. Um, if you don't know this show, it's just a fantastic show where five queer men um, help people sort of remake their lives. Um, they don't use the sort of makeover terminology anymore. It's just, it's about empowerment. It's about finding your true self. It's about expressing yourself. Um, and these guys are really beautiful people who come to feel like friends as well as celebrities, you know what I mean? So, uh, one of the guys, if you're not familiar with the show, is Anthony Porowski. Um, I'll put up a picture here. Um, yeah, so he is one of these celebrities on the show. He's Canadian, so there's always, like, that little bit of interest there. Um, excuse me as I drink my morning coffee. Anyway, in one of the episodes, he was wearing this sort of like pink fuzzy sweater. I don't know if it was mohair or angora, but it was um, very pink and very fuzzy. It had a big halo. And so, yeah, something very sort of feminine on a very like classically masculine body. And I was like, that, I want to do something like that. I want to do something like that pink fuzzy sweater. But I didn't know where to start. I didn't know how to find a pattern. I didn't know what kits were out there. So being me, um, instead of Googling, I don't know, something, what I, what I, I what I literally typed into Google was, uh, avant-garde sweater or avant-garde knitting. And what I found was this. So this is how I found We Are Knitters. This is called the Dada sweater. Okay, so we are knitters. <laughs> what to say? Um, so if you're not familiar with them, We Are Knitters is a company that uh, provides patterns and yarn. And like they mostly do kits, I would say. Um, so they are a site that you can go to, you can browse a lot of patterns, and they will sell you kits that have the pattern, the needles, the yarn, and so on, okay? So they were the first one like this that I came to. And I now realize that there are lots of these kind of things. Um, Wool and the Gang is another very like similar one. Um, and then there are these other fiber companies that all, like they, it's just very normal to sort of have these pattern libraries and these kits and so on, okay? We Are Knitters, uh, they're part of their little um, branding on their site always says over 1 million strong. So there's over 1 million knitters in the We Are Knitters community, which is very exciting. Okay, so they were, the, like I said, the first ones I found, the data sweater, okay? Now, um, just a little note on like diversity and so on. Mm, actually, do I wanna say this now? Um, at that time, which was the beginning of 2020, uh, if you clicked on the men section of We Are Knitters, there were four patterns, I believe. It was like a hat, a scarf, 
the classic sweater that I did in that cinnamon color, this one that you've seen before. Uh, and there was a fourth one. I don't know if it was a second hat or a second scarf, but that was it. So it was like four patterns for men and hundreds of patterns for women. And I was sort of like, great, like this is what I have to choose from. It's like one box, like boxy loose sweater and that's it. And that, that wasn't what I wanted. Like that was part of what pushed me to this sweater. So having seen the data sweater, I saw that it was like branded or whatever the word is, like it was being presented as a sweater for women. But I was like, you know what? I think I can rock that. I'm gonna do it in red. So that's why I bought this kit. I showed it to a couple of my friends. My one friend was so excited. She was like, I can't wait to see you uh, in a finished sweater doing exactly this pose. Please take a picture and show me that. So Jess, I'm gonna do that now. This is for you. Here's me, okay, in that pose. So I very much have this in my mind um, that this sweater is coming, that this kit is coming. I think I don't think I ordered it for like a few months after I first saw it, but I knew that it was on the horizon and I knew I wanted to build up to it. At that time, like these welts were so scary. Um, I thought they were very advanced. And I, like I said, I wanted to do the classic sweater before I tried something as complicated as this to my little, you know, knitting self at the time. Um, I would say like one thing that is fantastic about We, we Are Knitters is the yarn. It is good quality yarn. Um, it's fun to work with. Like they aces on that. Um, I don't know much about how it is, like whether the production of it is ethical in terms of the environment or how things are sourced. I, if you know, please say in the comments below. Um, I just imagine with big companies like this that there are probably some issues. Um, and there's some other things I'm gonna say, okay? Uh, so with We Are Knitters, I just wanna say like, at the time I thought they were this powerful conglomerate and I was scared to say anything negative about them online. That's part of why I haven't done this video up until now. But as I got onto Instagram and started meeting other knitters, um, I started having these like little secret like DM conversations with people and saying, you know, like, what do you think about We Are Knitters? And people would say, well, like, the patterns are lazily written. Um, there's mistakes, you know, like the wool is great, the yarn is great, but the actual patterns are kind of shoddy. And I have to say that I do consistently find that. Um, about a year after I discovered We Are Knitters, I think it was like the third thing I did from them was this sweater that you've seen on my Instagram. It was my first time knitting in the round. And the instructions just said, um, you know, stock and net stitch, is achieved by knitting every stitch. Well, that is true when you're knitting in the round. Like, it's not wrong, but as someone who had only knit flat, like, I just, to me at that time, it was like, if there's one thing I know about knitting, it's that like garter is knit, 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 like knit the front, knit the back, knit the right side, knit the wrong side. Garter is created by just knitting and stockinette is created by knitting the right side, purling the wrong side. This is like a core fundamental thing of knitting and of knitting flat. So I just needed like a sentence of explanation to say like, in the round, you're knitting helically and stocking net is achieved by knitting every stitch in the round. You know, like that just wasn't apparent to me. And so it like, I was really, really frustrated not understanding, and it, it could have been so simply explained. You know what I mean? So that's an example. Um, there's a couple other patterns I've gotten from them where, again, the instructions are just so poorly written that it's very hard to achieve what they want you to do. And um, yeah, like the constructions are weird. There's just, there's just, To me, there's like a very quick learning curve and then there are just better patterns out there to achieve very similar things. So to me, it's like very quick. It was a very quick to sort of grow out of the We Are Knitters. Um, but like I say, I was like afraid to say that or afraid, whatever. Here are my other issues, okay? So again, as someone who was starting out, I didn't know much about um, dye lots or so on. So I ordered 
the recommended number of balls in this red color of the petite wool is what they call it. And, uh, but, you know, I am a long person. <laughs> I have a long torso. I have long arms. I'm tall. So, and again, this pattern is probably written with female bodies in mind. Um, so I realized I was going to have to make the arms longer. And what happened was, I'm just looking if I can see, I ran out of, uh, I ran out of the red and We Are Knitters was out as well. That's fine, right? Like, I'm not going to complain about that. That's not anybody's fault. Here's what I am going to complain about. So whenever you go to the We Are Knitters site, the first thing it asks you to do is like, say what country you're in, give your email address, you know, sign up for their newsletter, which I've done. Okay. And they have no problem sending me email every single day. I know I have the ability to like set my preferences, not get emails from them every day, but I do. Um, but like, so my issue is like, can't you remember me? Can't you remember my IP address? Aren't you constantly gathering cookies that you force me to accept every time? So why every time I go to your site, is it like the first time and I get the pop-up to sign up for your newsletter and whatever? I think they should know that I'm in there. Then, so when I, like, I went to order more red, I just needed like one or two more balls just to finish the last, I think, three welts on one of these sleeves. Um, there's a little thing like, you know, we're sold out. Do you want to be notified when we get more in stock? Yes, please, we are knitters. Please notify me when you are back in stock of this color red. Um, and it was just like nothing, nothing, nothing. It was months. I was starting to ask other knitters on Instagram, like, do you have any petite wool in red? And a couple people like only had the wool. There's the wool and the petite wool. And I needed petite wool. Um, so I wasn't finding any like that. Meanwhile, I'm developing my fairy godfather persona. I now have a fairy godfather knits email. By the way, if you would like to contact me, please do so at fairygodfatherknits at gmail.com. So I sign up again for the We Are Knitters newsletters and to be notified when this color is back in stock with my fairy godfather email address and my Matthew email address. So I've like twice asked them to notify me when this color is back in stock. Hear nothing, hear nothing, hear nothing. And so one day I just like went in to check and lo and behold, the red was back in stock. Did Matthew receive a notification? No, he did not. Did Fairy Godfather receive a notification? No, he did not. So why tell me that you'll notify me when it's back in stock when you have no intention of doing so while meanwhile emailing me every single day, right? So that was also kind of souring me on Weird Knitters. And meanwhile, I was sitting with this sweater, like, like front piece done, back piece done, one sleeve done and attached. And then just the other sleeve just languishing with these three just like not finished. Uh, yes, okay. So meanwhile, I guess I'll just finish this part up first. Um, Meanwhile, I'm starting to post on Instagram as Fairy Godfather. I'm starting to like enter the wider knitting community online. And I post about this sweater and I post about being out of this yarn. And a couple of people say, you know, just forget about it. You're not gonna find a match. Um, just do something bold, do another color, do black, do pink, do something. And I sort of hemmed and hawed because I really sort of wanted the effect of this like all in red. Um, I was imagining like wearing this skating in the winter and so on, but eventually like, it just seemed like it was seriously like seven or eight months. And I was just like, maybe they're never going to be back in stock of the red, you know? Um, sorry, I've done things slightly out of order, but so in the meantime, I acquired this, um, Serpentina yarn. Okay. I'm going to show it here. Hopefully I have a photo of it. And in the end, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do that. They're right. Like knit boldly, do a little color pop, go for something crazy. So I actually finished the three welts in this color. I think I have a photo of it, which I will put up here. 
And then that's when I went on, of course, that's when I went on the We Are Knitters site and discovered that they were back in stock of the red. They just hadn't told me. And I was like, you know what? That was my original intention. So I, I ordered more red. I pulled out, I frogged all that um, Serpentina and I redid the welt. I'm trying to see, like the color matching is actually pretty good now that I'm here. I think in some lights, I think it's these three, you can see that they are like a slightly different color. Like if you look at these two beside each other, the red is just a bit different. Am I right or is it this side? Well, the fact that I can't tell right now is good. Yeah, I think it's these three. You can kind of see it. Um, so these three are from the new red, which was a different dye lot. And um, yeah, but it's it's not so much that I'm too worried about it, okay? So here's where things get interesting, okay? <laughs> so I'm like finally finishing this sweater in red and I'm like, I'm so excited to be done my Dada sweater. I'm so excited to take my picture and send it to Jess and her mom, you know? And uh, yeah, so, okay. Meanwhile, 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 in another part of the knitting universe, um, you will recall perhaps that we had Winter Olympics in 2020, must've been. Um, and so, I mean, if you are a knitter or a crocheter or a fiber artist at all during that time, especially if you are a male-bodied knitter, especially if you are a male-bodied person who dates other male-bodied people, you would have been exposed to Tom Daly. If you somehow don't know who Tom Daly is, Tom Daly is a British Olympic diver or swimmer of some kind. I don't know sports. Um, he is a British Olympic athlete, medalist, uh, who became knitting obsessed. Um, I recently found out that he started knitting in March of 2020, so one month after me. Um, yes, so Tom Daly was like knitting in the stands at the Olympics. These pictures went viral. If you just search like Tom Daly meme, there's a million Tom Daly memes just in general because he's young and sort of classically hot and looks good with a shirt off. So there's like a million memes about him, but there are like so many knitting specific memes of him knitting in the stands. And he did do amazing stuff. Like he knit, um, he knit something during the Olympics with like the Japanese flag and the UK, uh, like the Union Jack, I guess. Is that what it's called? No. Yes. <laughs> anyway, the British flag and the uh, Japanese flag, which as you may recall, involves like a circle, which is not easy to do at the time. It like blew my mind. Um, so anyway, there are all these pictures of him knitting in the stands and just knitting in general and posting about knitting. And so, so many people were sending them to me. This causes any number of emotional reactions, right? Like, um, there's all kinds of just like body image stuff. Um, there's all kinds of, you know, like I'll admit, you know, the first thing I did was like Google if he was single or whatever. And of course he's married and like, that's fine. Like, you know what I mean? But, um, it's just like weird how we do this. Like the whole thing is just making me think about celebrity culture, thinking about like our heroes, like why we look up to people who are strangers to us why we like have emotions about them. It's so silly in a way. So anyway, I was sort of like, I'll admit it. Like I was like low level jealous of this like hot 22 year old who was already an Olympic medalist who was sort of like getting knitting famous. And um, yeah, like every day people who otherwise had never shown any interest in my knitting or any interest in this part of my life would like send me a Tom Daly meme send me a picture of Tom Daly. Hey, have you heard of this guy? Hey, have you seen this guy? And it just got to be a lot. And it even got to the point where there were memes about Tom Daly memes, like um, memes about the feeling of when someone sends you yet another Tom Daly meme. Like it was a real thing at that time. 
Um, so I was like already developing this like weird jealousy. I get like that. Like that's why it's scary to talk about because like that's an ugly word. Nobody wants to be jealous. It's hard to admit that I was, but there really just isn't a better or more honest word for it. Like I was silly and ridiculous as it is. I was feeling jealous of Tom Daly. So I'm sort of like developing this nascent little like resentment, right? But you know, I'm following him on Instagram and so on. Uh, somewhere in there, it's like said sometime, I think it was, it was actually like a, I also follow, now I'm back to Anthony from Queer Eye, who was originally inspiring me with his fuzzy pink sweater, or fuzzy lavender sweater, whatever. Um, his Instagram story all of a sudden one day is like him opening a package from Tom Daly, who's like, hey friend, I knit you this sweater, like my gift to you, blah, blah, blah. And this had been a huge fantasy of mine. I had been fantasizing since I started knitting that I was going to knit sweaters for the entire cast of Queer Eye and I was going to send it to them and I was going to send Antony and JVN, you know, sweaters and maybe they would wear them on air and like all this just like insane dreaming, you know, just like just fantastical imagining okay, that I've spent like, so much of my life doing. So again, like I just felt this incredible jealousy of like, oh my God, you know, like Tom Daly stole my idea of knitting a sweater and sending it to Antony. Like meanwhile, like I just, I, I had taken no steps to actually do that. Like it's just a totally different thing. So I, this is what I'm, I'm sort of realizing over time, you know, like these, these are silly, but these are the things that we do to ourselves, right? This is part of celebrity culture. This is part of just everything. So anyway, so I'm like, wow, you know, like now Tom Daly is like sending sweaters to Antony and like they're best friends. And you know, where are my friends? You know? <laughs> like, it's so silly. I have lots of friends, like don't worry, but you know, it was, it was a dark time. We were all isolated at that time. So it was, um, I don't know. Anyway, there's, there's just this weird element to it. Okay. So, uh, then at whatever, like it all happens with like the Serpentina and getting the red and finishing the sweater. So I, I can't remember exactly if I was already done. I think I finished the sleeve. Like this was a project where I did, I was done, but I just didn't seem it. So I wasn't done but I didn't seam it for a very long time. I just had the four pieces all finished. But so part of why was because, so I'm finally done. I'm so excited that I'm gonna be done this sweater. And then one day uh, I get my daily We Are Knitters newsletter, spam, whatever you wanna call it. Um, okay, so, and so over this time, We Are Knitters is like growing and growing and growing. They are, to their credit, they are like adding more patterns for men. They are adding more designers and models of color. They are, it felt to me anyway, like they were making a concerted effort to diversify, to be better about representation and so on. Um, and so they do this thing sometimes where they will collaborate with a certain designer um, often a celebrity. So for example, they did a Kristen Ritter series, like Kristen Ritter, here she is. You may have seen her in many movies and shows. Um, she also knits, uh, she knits for her kid, I think. So Kristen Ritter has done like a collab with We Are Knitters and they'll like show some of her stuff. Um, they've done that with other designers, whatever. So one day I open my We Are Knitters email and what do I see but this? <laughs> Tom Daly, Tom Daly in essentially the Dada sweater. And yet, my friends, it is not the Dada sweater, if We Are Knitters is to be believed. <laughs> it is hands in the air like you just don't flare, I think is what he's calling it. Hold on, I need to check. Hands in the air if you just don't flare sweater by Tom Daly, okay? So, 
here's the thing also about like YouTube and algorithms and you know gay men and just everything like there was this instinct in me to like do this as a takedown you know like the truth about Tom Daly and we are knitters like sweater scandal but like a I don't know if anyone cares that much and B, like, I don't want that energy. I'm not here to like tear anybody down. I don't want to get popular through like negative energy towards like Tom Daly or anyone else. The thing is, what I realized is like, you know, Tom's not doing anything to me. Like Tom and Anthony did not set out to hurt my feelings. They did not set out to exclude me. Like Tom Daly was not, trying to make the same sweater that I was making in order to make me feel bad. Like, those things are all lies that my ego and my mind are trying to tell me, right? I need to like really let go of all of that. Tom Daly is actually like a beautiful human being. I'm so happy that he's part of this community. His Instagram handle is called Made With Love by Tom Daly. I love that message. I think he has done a lot to sort of like spread the popularity of knitting, increase the popularity of knitting, get more people knitting who would, wouldn't be. So I'm not against Tom Daly in any way, shape or form. I, in fact, I love Tom Daly. He's really funny. He's creative. He's interesting, you know, so if this isn't against him. And I'm not like against We Are Knitters either, even though I find a lot of their stuff kind of ho-hum at this point. <laughs> like it's just very, like very, like there's nothing wrong with it, except as I said, maybe environmental and ethical stuff, I don't know. But um, it's just, I don't know. It's just like at a certain level that I think people could like push past if they really wanted to, not that they have to. Knit whatever you want, order your kits from wherever you want, you know. All I'm really asking for is transparency. So this is the thing, like, like what happened here? <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, we have this sweater, the Dada sweater, right? And we have this like beautiful woman of color modeling it. And now all of a sudden, what's weird is that that is gone. So that photo is taken down. Like that's how it, I was searching like for the Dada sweater it doesn't come up on the We Are Knitters site anymore. If you go to Ravelry, okay, I'm gonna try to like record my screen and put in a video. Let's see if this works. But if you go to Ravelry, the data sweater comes up, but when you click on it to access the pattern, it just reroutes you and reroutes you and reroutes you and you get a site not found. So it essentially doesn't exist. There's even questions on Ravelry where knitters have asked, is this pattern still available? Where can I get this pattern? They're seemingly unanswered. So this is what's weird. Like they've, they've, it feels like they are hiding the Dada sweater. The Dada sweater no longer exists. It now only exists as hands in the air like you just don't flare by Tom Daly. Um, I'm going to read you the quote, uh, if I can find it. He says, or it says on the site, like what this is supposed to be a quote, for, like obviously it's supposed to be a quote from Tom Daly, but like the context of the interview or the context in which he is saying this is not there. There's no way to link to like a longer or more fulsome explanation or like description of this. This is the quote on the We Are Knitters site. I went a bit off piste and adapted the sleeves and fell in love. So the sleeves for that sweater were a massive inspiration for my We Are Knitters pattern. As you can see, I've gone big on the flared wrists. So I'm just like, what? I don't know what he means by off piste Off pissed, off pieced. I'm gonna look that up right now, actually. Okay, like that's new slang I was not um, familiar with. I knew that Tom Daly was a skier and he has um, posted about another sweater he did with that word, pieced. So off pieced, I guess in skiing and snowboarding means going off the trails into like terrain that is like not the regular terrain. Um, but then it can also be used as just a general slang term to mean anything that's sort of like out of the norm or like not normative or different from what's expected kind of thing. Um, so again, like he's, I just don't know 
It says, introducing two new knitting kits in collaboration with the one and only Tom Daly. A couple of designs, a sweater and a vest designed by itself. Next projects, anyone? And then he says this, I, I, w I, w I went a bit off piste and adapted the sleeves. So like adapted from what to what is what I'm kind of asking and fell in love. So the sleeves for that sweater were a massive inspiration for my We Are Knitters pattern. So like, is he talking about the data sweater and saying that it inspired him? You can see like in Tom's sweater, the welts stop about here and it just goes into like straight stockinette. And I think there's like a bit more of a taper. I'm wearing it tucked in cause he has it tucked in in one of his pictures, but I mean, it can be out too. Um, you know, which he, he does have it out too. So like other than that, yeah, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like, but his is shorter too. He probably has shorter arms. So he has like made the welts only on part of the sleeve. That's a different, like again, like that's fine. Like this is what I find so weird about it is like We Are Knitters has many very, very similar patterns. They have a lot of patterns that are like almost identical construction, just with like very slight changes. So like, I would be cool with all of this if the Dada sweater were still up there. Like it's the taking the Dada sweater away that makes it seem sketchy. You know what I mean? Um, it makes it seem like they're like hiding it. Whereas if they just said like, you know, we opened our vault to Tom Daly and asked him to like adapt a couple of our already existing designs into something new and totally his own. Great. Um, you know, we let Tom peruse our patterns to, for inspiration for his own sweater. And here's what he came up with. Fantastic. But like, just removing the data sweater from your site, taking away this like beautiful woman of color and replacing her essentially with a white man, um, like acting as though this is like a wholly original design. It's just a bit weird. Like I just don't understand why anybody involved did that. And that's the thing. It's like, I don't want to be mad at Tom. He's like, I don't know, young in his like early, early twenties. Um, he now has made, made with love by Tom Daly, which is his own company, which I'm guessing, this is just a total guess. I don't know, but I'm guessing that we are knitters like supplies the wool for that. Like all of his designs are very chunky and very, um, wool in the gang. We are knitters esque and he also sells kits. So like, I think they are essentially just like branding like putting a sort of like made with love by Tom Daly facade on what are essentially We Are Knitters like projects or We Are Knitters kits. That's what I'm imagining this collaboration is all about. I could be wrong about that. Please correct me in the comments below. Tom, if you are somehow watching this, please let us know what the real story is. Like, please let us know what happened behind closed doors if you're allowed. Um, so it's just been like a very, very strange journey with this sweater where it's like, you know, it was like Tom Daly just like kept popping up in my life and kept doing all the things that I wanted to do. You know what I mean? Like make this sweater and like make sweaters for Anthony and be Anthony's friend and whatever else. But it's just been a great lesson for me that like, um, yeah, it's been a lesson in like ego, a lesson in like letting go of jealousy, a lesson in like just focusing on myself and what I can do and what I want to make and what I want to put in the world. Um, anyway, and I finally, finally, finally completed this. It took like, it, just like waiting to do the seaming. I, I would, I've brought this sweater everywhere with me. I've brought it on trips, like intending to seam it while I'm there and then brought it all the way home, still unseen. So it's like a, it probably took close to three years. Um, to actually finish it, but like, obviously I was not working on it consistently in that time. Um, have I said everything I wanted to say about Anthony, Tom, We Are Knitters, and the Dada sweater slash arms in the air if you just don't flare? I think I have. Um, I hope you enjoyed 
the story of this sweater and all the feelings it brought up in me. Um, if you have feelings about this whole saga, um, please let me know in the comments below. Let's chat about it. And I will be back next week with a regular uh, knit cast. Uh, I'm Fairy Godfather. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Happy knitting and have great days. Bye!